So, Colby, I guess maybe let's just start with, uh, you know, how the year went for you. Uh, what were the ups, what were the downs, and the all-arounds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was an up-and-down year. Um, you know, early on, kind of, I uh, had an injury that left me out of the lineup for about a month and a half there, which is unfortunate. Um, came back, had a strong finish, I thought. Um, unfortunately, uh, it was a short playoff run for us, but another opportunity arose coming with the uh, Manitoba Moose, which was... A, a great experience for me, getting into a few games there, being around the guys, getting to know uh, Mo, the systems here, and just how they run things, which was uh, was awesome. I took it into this summer and just working on that. Yeah, from a personal perspective, what was that experience like with the Moose in terms of, you know, did it make you more hungry? Uh, did it make you realize, okay, here are more steps that I've got to take? You know, what kind of impact uh, was involved with that, Colby? Yeah, it's all steps. I mean, um, it kind of showed me what, what I had to get better at. Um, to, to reach that level, and that's just what I'm working on this summer. I'm uh, feeling good, feel good here. Uh, I'm just going to get better as the summer continues with those things in mind and uh, come back the best player I can be. Of course, last summer uh, it was so memorable. It was the Colby and Rutgers show. Who's your running mate this year? <laughs> oh, everybody's everybody's great here. There's a lot of new faces, which is nice. Uh, you know, I know Golder pretty well, Lambo, because um, they were with the Moose at the end of the year, and uh, Anhorn, he was uh, he was driving us around when, when we were at the Moose. So those are just a, f a handful of guys. I'm in room with Kevin Heath, it's getting uh, great to know him. So, no, everybody's been nice here, and it's been awesome. Has anybody been challenged to a push-up contest yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Colin, when you had the injury that you did last year in the length of time, I remember talking to Cole Perfetti in training camp this year, and he said he kind of had to change some of his off-season training just to make sure that something like that, you know, is, can be as avoidable as, as possible. Sometimes injuries happen anyways, but just curious if you changed anything this summer slash going forward. Yeah, I just got a way better routine now, like to, to strengthen and activate kind of my body before I get out on the ice. Um, just so, you know, it's as strong and as ready, as warm as it can be when I when I get out there in case it does go into an awkward position that it can sustain it because it's warm, it's kind of stretched out and, and ready to go and be ready for those kind of things. When stuff happens like that and you're sort of looking for solutions like that, where do you turn? Is it through, like, team sources? Do you reach out to, like, representation? Or how do you go about solving that? Uh, I think it's just using your resources. I mean, everybody that, you know, I work with in the off-summer, family, people here, um, staff here, you know, even teammates just for, for the mental aspect of it. I think it's just making sure you're you're using your resources to, to the most as you possibly can because they're there for a reason for those kind of situations. You mentioned sort of realizing, okay, here's the areas that I want to get better at. So like we think of you as a, a junior star and really an impact player at that level. What is the next step for you or what are the things you're looking at? I think it's just growing as a whole player. I know it kind of sounds generic, but... Um, you know, it, everything's got to keep getting better and developing uh, as, I, as I move forward here. I think uh, speed's a big thing. I always talk about just kind of, and it's gotten a lot better. I've been working with a skating coach, and it's been, uh, it's been going really, really well and going in the upward direction. And speaking about, sir, one more for me, just uh, a strength of yours, obviously, is the shot. But part of that is making sure that you're in the right spot for a lane to open up for that puck to get to you, right? Mm -hmm. And to what extent, now that you've, you know, a little taste of pro or what have you, what extent can that be improved, like different angles or different lanes for that too? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a learning curve because you don't have that time to sit there in that honey hole. It, it happens in a split second and you got to get there and time it perfectly or it's just not going to be there. So I think, uh, you know, it's important that, you know, I continue to learn and get in those spots when they're open quick and, uh, you know, capitalize when you get those opportunities. You're, uh Kevin Shovel Day off uh, at the start of free agency the first day say that if you're a young player in the Jets organization you'd be excited about the opportunities that are in front of you even if your development path isn't ready for the NHL necessarily this season what goes through your mind when you hear the GM saying that it sounds like a commitment to young guys young stars in the organization yeah I think it's just being ready for that opportunity um you know, I just it's just preparing myself the best I can possibly be um, for, for the age I am right now. Uh, I think it's it's a massive off season for me. You know, I'm working towards, my goal is to play in the NHL, so I'm working towards that. I'm just doing the best I absolutely can. I know there's steps along the way for sure, and learning curves need to be done, but, um, you know, it's it's obviously positive hearing those kind of things. Um, so you just kind of take it and run with it and, and do the absolute best I can and be prepared for it. Kobe, you know, I was just going to say, you know, a couple of OHL additions in the draft, so we, especially Kevin Hughes, as he's one of your good friends. What is it like to have those guys added to the to the mix? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, Waltz and, and he's are they're great guys. Um, 
yeah, they're they're good players as well. I play against them uh, for the last couple of years now. So um, they're both they're both impactful players. You know, Waltz is a big guy, but he can he can still uh, get in those areas, score goals, and he's obviously electric. And you know, he likes to play with pace and then score goals as well. So it's great to have those guys here and uh, a couple more OHL boys. And you know, Ke- Kelly asked about the you know the time with the Moose and just for the from the perspective of the off the ice stuff, getting acclimatized to Winnipeg, getting to know those guys. How much did that do for you in terms of your confidence? just being part of the organization yeah it's awesome to get to to learn about the guys uh the city uh everything around even the travel on the road how that works and uh just kind of everything it was a great experience for me which uh you know it makes me more confident coming into de- development camp this year because you know you know the staff you know the facilities you kind of know the city way better and you know the guys more so i think that's super important and uh you know it was, it was awesome and thankful for it Speaking of the OHL connection, Colby, I think we heard that you and Kevin are, are Kevin here, are, uh, real tight. How did that friendship develop? Uh, I think uh, kind of just through our agency. Um, we have the same agent, so that's just kind of how how we knew each other, and uh, you know, we're fortunate enough to be part of the same organization now. Question: uh, Did you track what Jacob Julian was doing in the uh, Memorial Cup? Uh, <laughs> Coming from the same league, but also in the same organization here. Yeah, I was watching. <laughs> I was watching. Uh, you know, it was unfortunate they had a great run, but uh, yeah, I was watching. That's for sure. <laughs> Talking to you a year ago to where you are today, where have you been most um, encouraged or, or pleased with your development? What areas of your game? Yeah, I think you know my skating has came a long way from you know first being drafted to now. It's still got a lot to improve, but I think I'm taking you know the right steps towards that. Um, I think I'm starting to grow into my body a little bit more, um, and just kind of you know, think the game with, uh, at a higher pace, kind of being around, you know, the Jets organization for a year now, being around uh, higher end guys and, and older guys that are, you know, got that IQ. I think that's really helped me uh, learn quicker and it's, it's beneficial for me.